so here we go I decided to create a little video for you guys about a few secrets that you can only get with the Honda Civic hatchback E not EX the sport version so first of all the key so one of the things about the key fob is that you can use it to unlock all the windows so I will show you how you actually do this so here it is and what you have to do is to go to the key and of course we are here that's not even my dog I'm trying to get more focus here there we go now what you do is you press on unlock once press on it twice and you just hold it and when you hold it up all the windows automatically open up for you so in a hot summer day this is a great shortcut for you make sure you do this when you have a full battery this can easily drain a battery for you now in case you change your mind press on lock press on it twice and guess what the windows are still closed uh, but do unlock and just keep pressing on it and 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 nothing try this way interestingly enough I think it's just a one-way street here so potentially speaking yeah you open up all the windows but to close them you gotta go and do it manually so let's go and do that get in now of course we have to do this manually so I'll put this in here turn this on turn on the car now we have to manually close them all up now make sure you press on this button right here and I guess you can't oh oops press on this up and be closing all the windows down pressing this button right here interestingly enough you have to pull it for the windows to close which brings me to the next uh, interesting thing about this vehicle which you probably don't know about is this key right here this key when you press on this it disables all those four windows from working the only thing you can do is the driver's side window but those don't work this is great let's say you're driving and you don't want to accidentally pull those on or off or if you have kids in the back you don't want to give them any control over here just to piss them off this is a great tool as well another thing is this this is very important by the way this is not an easter egg but of course this is something for you to keep in mind so this is for this right here the, the mirrors and to make sure you do this so you can see your blind spot turn this this way and then you press on this until you can kind of see the cow so the way you go and do this you want to make sure that you don't see the back of your car you want to make sure you dent it more so you can see like a car right here that's the way you want to go about and do this so for example we have this car right here in the back it's parking behind us and it's going to give us only part of it so when I'm driving and you really do want to see just part of it you don't want to see the whole entire vehicle so when you do this it will give you a possibility to figure out how much do you really need for this to be effective and to work so turn this on now we're going to be moving it so it's best to have a car next to you so you can figure it out how much space do you really need to know if there is a car over there especially if you have the sport model which doesn't have a camera to show you the blind spot same thing you can do with this one as well but this one you have to make sure that you can see part of your vehicle so when you do this make sure that you can see a little outline of the car on the side right here that's the correct way to set this specific blind spot over there up 
a few more interesting things about this is there's a hidden compartment there's a few of them in in this car so first of all if you have chunk change that you need to use when you're driving right here there's a compartment to put your cash into first thing you need to move it right here press on it all the way up and there is this compartment right here this is where you can put your chunk change into it quarters and stuff like that in case you go to a tow boot this is the location for them that's one thing second thing which is going to be another thing here is the easter egg another one right here you can actually pull this out just like that and there's extra space here now in case you really need to get a lot more space in though what you do is pull this one in this one is very hard to get out with one hand it's not really designed for you to get it out I'm trying it <laughs> but it does pull out it just doesn't pull out with one hand keep trying it again whoa that is for sure all right I give up but anyway you can potentially get it out there's a way to do it you have to oh it is massively hard thing to get out of there. I want to show you guys, but it doesn't look like it wants to cooperate with me, so it's not gonna happen in this video. I'll put this back in here. And I'm gonna be showing you a few more other things as well. About. So this one also not a great thing for you to get out because once you get it out, you gotta line it back in and stick it back in there there we go so that was good there is a hidden compartment right inside here to put your stash into really cool by the way so let's go and discover that oh before we go into that there is another hidden compartment in here all the way inside here as well which makes me go back to the least friendly area which is right in here so there's supposed to be some kind of a hidden compartment in here you know, somebody told me there is but guess what I don't know what it is so somebody said that you can lift this thing up here and you can find something in there and I'm looking and this is not true. The rumor is not real. There is nothing in here that you can pull out and grab some kind of an Easter egg inside here. Because it's all hard plastic. For all of those who've been told this, big disappointment for you. There's nothing in there. But let's go back to the few other interesting things in, about this car. In there, the hidden stash. Let's get in there. Before we get to the hidden stash, since we're already here, let me show you an interesting thing about this car. One more thing. Open it up. And another hidden stash right in here. You can go and put something in here if you like. Very, very small compartment. Also, this is for child seats. So, this is an ankle. You can secure things with this. Two more ankles right there as well. Right here, one. Another one right there. But this one is great because this is the biggest one. So, in case you want to pull something, and this is for if you want to ankle your kids in here from the front. I mean, if you have a child seat, that's what this is for. One more thing, right here, in case your car ever breaks down. Well, there was a jack, spell jack right there. So if you didn't know that, that's another one of the best things over here that is made. 
one more thing I'm gonna be doing is this is pretty flimsy just to let you know so be extremely careful uh, right there see this is like a piece of wood I don't know why they put something so flimsy material in here and this is Honda so that's a bad thing about this so I'm not too happy that they made this shortcut all the way with this so if you put something too heavy in here it's gonna really break it so make sure you get an extra thing in here and I'm thinking about getting it myself like a special tray it's gonna give it a little more weight so you can put more more weight on it a little more, more weight not too much so that shows you the back and I just thought I lost my key <laughs> Okay, next thing. Right here, the hidden secret compartment for you guys. So you lift this up a little bit, and you have this huge uh, compartment where nobody actually expects you to have it. Right there, where well, is the serial number of the of this car? But plus, you can stash all kinds of interesting treasures in here. Nobody will ever know. So that's a good place for it. Not the best place but nobody really knows about this so the bad thing is it only comes out one way so it just comes out this way but it is definitely a hidden compartment for you there's not much other hidden compartments in this car which is a big bummer for you because if you want to really hide something since we're already on this topic a few more things here well sports version unfortunately doesn't have something that comes out so one of also the EX version does have something that comes out this armrest which is kind of cool and this version doesn't have it there's nothing in here to put anything in here either so it's very very simple in here as well in the back seat so that's a few things in here and let's see the light so if you want to make sure that the lights always turns on, make sure you put this in the middle part and when you close down the door, this light is going to shine and then after a while it's going to turn off by itself. So here we go. So there you go, you have a few interesting easter eggs about this car and if you like this video make sure you subscribe to this channel and see you in another video.